Hey guys, this is on for games. Uh, lately, a lot of people have been coming to me asking, like, dude, how do you get your girlfriend to play video games with you? I love video games, and I love my girlfriend. I would love for her to join me, but she just won't. Um, <laughs> there's no real easy answer, but I came up with one anyway. I'm going to give you five tips to uh, hopefully get, you know, your significant other playing games with you. Let's get into it. Hunt for Games is not responsible for any broken relationships due to misinterpretation over application of any advice given here. Don't sue me. Tip number one, uh, this is sink or swim time, trial by fire. You just got a new game, they've never played games before, but it's co-op time and let's do this. When they carefully ask you what the jump button is, you inwardly cringe. <laughs> jump button, what about reloading, uh, using the flashlight, looking around, uh, pistol whipping an enemy, managing inventory. Do they know how to do any of that? Face it, chances are probably not. <laughs> I mean, you grew up with this, or at least have had a passion for it for a long time. If you're like me, you grew up playing the Super Nintendo or the Sega Genesis, and most of those games were two-dimensional. Uh, eventually, a third dimension was added, uh, added once like technology caught up, but by that time, you'd already mastered the two-dimensional games, and it was just one more thing to pick up. My point is that you crawled before you walked, and you ran before you flew. Finding games that cater to that kind of initial entry is a great idea. Obvious carl outs are the, as cliche as they sound, Super Mario Brothers games for the Wii and the Wii U. Uh, they're two-dimensional side-scrollers, and they're designed for family fun and enjoyment. But another game to think about is Diablo 3 on consoles. Uh, I mean, movement is two-dimensional. Making jumping in and having fun for someone who's not used to camera control it, and other aspects of games like that, pretty easy. It was redesigned from the PC version to be far more approachable to players new to the genre, with a stack comparison system for gear, that easily uses just like green arrows saying like this is better at attack and this is better at defense. But it's also got a deep skill system that is presented slowly as you level up. There are some heavy RPG concepts in Diablo 3, but you don't have to grasp them immediately to have fun. Games with those kind of features, both an ease of control and you know e gentle learning curve into the genre, are both great entry points for any new player. Tip number two, so I know what you're saying now. Perfect, I've got that classic that totally got me into gaming. I'm just gonna make them play it. The game that you loved and played over and over again. How could they not love that game? Force them to play it. Even if they don't like it, make them play it till they collapse or win. We're gonna play Metal Gear Solid for eight hours straight tonight until we beat it. And, oh, damn, Liquid Snake. Point is, ultimately, you can't make someone like anything. Uh, they either will or they won't. If they sound interested, definitely give them the opportunity, but don't push it. As with anything in a relationship, sometimes you just don't see eye to eye, especially with, you know, subjective things like games. Plus, as happily as we remember a lot of those classic games, uh, some of them were really freaking hard. <laughs> the game space is made far more approachable in today's day and age due to a lot of quality of life changes that are pervasive throughout the entire genre. Uh, I mean, auto journals that mark down what you were doing, objective markers, tutorials that help explain controls and concepts, uh, these are all things that are that are new, and while we remember those old games, ugh, old games very fondly, careful on what you pick, because you might end up driving them further away than you wanted. Tip number three. Okay, uh, so they've already got all that down. They've played games. Uh, maybe not as rigorously as you, but they're familiar. That's not the problem. You want them to play your favorite MMO. Of course you do. Yeah. <laughs> You invest most of your time into it, how awesome would it be to have at least one more party member all the time? They can handle it. If, if they get stuck, you're there. You know everything about the game. Uh, the skill trees, inventory management, quest line progression, stat point allocation, community interaction requirements, uh, housing, transportation, PvP. Did you listen to what you just rattled off? I mean, that is a shitload of in-game concepts to pick up. <laughs> Whether we like to admit it or not, MMORPGs are actually a huge pain in the ass to get into. Starting a new one can be a huge learning curve for even experienced MMO veterans. Uh, I've played for years and I still get turned away by new games uh, all the time when there's just too much nonsense to sift through. Unfortunately, there's no good answer here. Uh, you'll just have to judge whether or not an MMO would be something that they'd be curious about trying. You could ask them. Tips 1 and 2 also play heavily into this kind of decision. If camera control is a new concept, <laughs> manipulating that to see what is attacking them and where it's coming from can be really frustrating. Some games also just do better than others at uh, easing into you know gear and skill progression. So finding a game that introduces those concepts well is is key, even if it's just a stepping stone to another MMO or another game that you're more excited about. Ultimately, though, MMOs just aren't for everyone. We're all drawn to them for different reasons. Against all odds, my girlfriend loves Final Fantasy XIV, which is a great option, by the way, due to its control-based style of play, extensive tutorials in the way of MMO mechanics and game mechanics, and player-friendly grouping options. Uh, but when it comes down to it, she liked it initially because how cool her character looked, and every few levels she got some cool new gear that she could show off. 
I get more excited about new abilities. I, everyone's different. Tip number four, uh, they're just not interested. No matter how much they see you having fun playing League of Legends with your buddies, uh, you, every time you bring it up, they just back away. They have no interest. It's a hopeless endeavor. There's obviously nothing you can do. Take a step back for a second and actually think about how you look when you're playing these games with your friends. If it's anything like me, it's full of trash talking, insults, and plenty of frustration. Does that sound like a fun, loving couple time to you? Even if you want them to someday be involved in that, realize how daunting that seems. Chances are they're already a little worried about looking dumb when they struggle, and seeing how you react to your friend's failures by telling them how they suck at life is going to make it seem worse. When you ask them to play, make sure that you pick a title that supports heavy cooperation instead of competition. Explain that you want it to be a fun time that you can both spend time together, instead of it just being you disappearing into the basement every day. That's the whole point. Maybe someday they'll be as good at you as telling your friends what a great time their mom was last night, but for now, just take it easy. Tip number five. Uh, ultimately, remember that this is about seeing how they can maybe take part in a hobby that you already enjoy. So remember to play games that they want to play. Depending on what that is, maybe throw in a suggestion here or there for other games to try out. But if they're not interested, they're not interested. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, definitely leave in the comments whether or not you thought these ideas were stupid or useful or whatever. And uh, any games that you're playing with close friends or significant others that might not be quite as into gaming as you. Always looking for new games that I can try out with people that aren't quite as about it. Uh, definitely like the video if you liked it. And if you're new here, please subscribe. We've got plenty more videos coming every week. And, you know, the subscriptions really help out the channel. So thanks for watching. Uh, also, definitely like the video if you liked it. If it's a good one, um, of course it's a good one. It's amazing. This game, this video is amazing. It's the best video I've ever seen. <laughs>